This is part two of two on how to fix the audio drift with your capture card, OBS, and a console. I will have a link down below in the description box to my part one. However, the method here in part two is the best for my situation. I am going to show you how I did what I did, but I'm not going to explain it or the video is going to be 10 minutes long. Go to your capture card in the sources, right click on it, go to properties. Scroll all the way down. Experiment with having this either disabled or enabled. I feel disabled is the best for me. Use hardware decoding when available. You can have this on or off, it doesn't matter. Just know that this setting or that setting that I just spoke about sometimes can affect audio drifting. Make sure this is on capture audio only. Do not use a custom audio device. Don't watch this part really quick. <laughs> now let's go to the cog wheel here under audio mixer. Go to your capture card. Mine's the Elgato 4K Pro. Make sure monitor is off. We do not want OBS to monitor. That is what causes the drift. There's an issue with OBS. They're aware of it. They're never going to fix it. Get over it monitor off we're going to have the computer do the audio that you can hear but this is still going to capture it you're just not going to hear through it in lifetime uncheck all the tracks close it go to your capture card hit the mute button probably overkill just do it right click on it hide it why because you don't need to see it see how i'm going through my games on my ps5 all your sound is going to come out through your desktop audio. I personally do minus 14 dB, whether it's a computer game or a console game, because I find with my microphone just being under the red zone of at zero decibels, it is the perfect match. You're not gonna hear it in real time though, because you don't have your own bar like we did a minute ago with the Elgato 4K. That you would hear in real time because it's doing the monitoring. This is just now recording it. So that's why if you move the bar, it'll still sound just as loud. So if it's too loud, just turn down the volume on your volume knob, but this is a good starting point. Go to control panel, go to the magnifying glass, type in control panel, go to sound, playback, right click on your default device. I'm using an audio interface called the quantum ES2 by personas levels, enhancement, disable all enhancements, go here. Set it to whatever it is for your capture device. So mine is only 16-bit, even though everything else can do 24-bit. You want that to match, or you could get audio drift. So mine's two-channel, 16-bit, 48,000. Check this. Disable all enhancements. Get rid of spatial sounds. Again. Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Let's get out of that. Let's go to recording. Your default device for me, is my audio interface. After all, I've got my microphone plugged into it and everything. It's where my main sound goes to. It's still my default device. Right-click on the default device. Same thing. Go through each thing. Do not listen to this device or things are going to echo. Play it back through whatever your main sound system is. Levels, enhancement, disable, advanced. Check those off. Again, two-channel, 16-bit, 48,000. Now we're going to go to our capture card, right click properties, listen to this device. This is how we're going to hear things without even having to have OBS open for seven years. I needed OBS open, or I wasn't going to be able to hear what I was playing through my Nintendo, my Xbox, my PlayStation. And then again, play it back through your, whatever device you have levels, advanced, have those enabled. Notice how it's grayed out. And it's two channels, 16-bit, 48,000. That's why they all have to match. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. And that is pretty much it. You can, afterwards, go down here. Left-click. Go here to select a sound output. Scroll down. These are all your volume mixers. If you wanted to in real time just lower the volume of your capture card you could do it here but generally again just use the volume knob i'm just showing you that you can do this okay and settings 
audio sample rate, make sure again that that's set to 48,000. You can't change the the bit though, like the 16 bit or the 24 bit. You can't you can't change that. At least not as far as I know. Make sure all of those match. You should have no drifting. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Remember, part one down below if this does not work for you. This was the better method for me.